Hi everyone, Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. Before we begin, do yourself a favor, hit that subscribe button, and while you're down there, go ahead and hit the bell so you can be notified when I make new videos. Today I want to take a quick look and show you guys this neat little power supply that MFJ sent me. This is the MFJ uh, 4230DMP. Uh, it's a variable voltage uh, power supply. Super tiny, super quiet, puts out 30 amps. Um, got a nice little LED or LCD readout and um, really, really neat bit of kit. It also has power poles. We love those. So uh, stick around, let's dive in. I'll show you what we got going on here. So let's take a brief walk around what we have here. Well, first off, it's a 30 amp switching power supply with power pole connectors. That's the most important thing for me. Uh, it is a 30 amp surge and a 25 amp continuous. A cool thing about this, uh, this one power supply will do 120 volts or 240 just by flipping a switch on the back that I'll show you here in a minute. It's super compact, it's five inches wide, two and a half inches high and only six inches deep. Very, very tiny. Uh, and it's also ridiculously quiet. So a quick look at the back, we can see we have two power pole connectors there. Uh, this is where you plug the plug into the socket. And then this switch right here is where, you're, where you'll go. It says 115, it's really uh, for, for 120 or uh, 240 if you're over across the pond there. So one of the main features that I like best about this power supply is just simply how quiet it is. I'm gonna put the microphone by the fan here in a second and turn it on uh, just to show you. Uh, th this thing is just a whisper. All my other two power supplies I hear constantly in the shack. This one I do not. All right, so the microphone is directly behind the fan right now. We're gonna turn it on. probably hear that initial kick up and then nothing. It's crazy. All right, so I got the 891 hooked up to it and I just wanted to show you HF power, that controls the CW power. We're on 90 watts, we're at 14 volts and it's pulling a half an amp. Uh, that, I would say, is not accurate. I know uh, that the 891 draws pretty much exactly a full amp on receive, so. That might uh, be a little wonky, but let's see how quiet this power supply is when I key up on CW. Hear that? Nothing. Pulling 17 amps and you can't hear it. It's just quiet. Look at that. Crazy. You don't hear anything. That's fantastic. Testing K8MRD. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Testing, testing K8MRD. Testing one, two. K8MRD. So, what else can we do with a power supply like this? Well, let's say we're in a pinch and we need to charge one of these horrible sealed lead acid batteries. Well, we can simply plug it in and charge it. Look at that. That says 0.6 amps. Uh, this says one amp that we're pulling out of here. So we're charging, I've got this set at 13 and a half volts. So we can put some power into our battery like this. Not too shabby. And now it looks like it's charged. On about a half amp. Not really the best way to charge a sealed lead acid battery, but this would give you a little bit of a boost if you needed it, if uh, you know somehow your charger wasn't there. So that's pretty cool. Or maybe, God forbid, your Bofang battery died. Oh my gosh. So this is one of the extended batteries that has this little uh, input in here. So you can get one of these little barrel things, turn our uh, thing on, and I want to bring this down to about 18, or excuse me, eight and a half volts to give, eh, close enough, to breathe life into what some would argue would be better off left dead, a dead bow Look at that, now it's on. 
pulling about two and a half amps, which is really, this says 2.7. I believe this more than I believe that. I think it's about a half amp off, but I mean, how cool is that? We got a living, breathing Bofang now. Another thing I like to use this for is to charge my Yaesu HT, which this has a, a voltage input of uh, 12 volts, so 13.8. So let's crank this back up and we can plug this in to charge it. Now this, this radio has the, all the circuitry and everything in it to charge. And it's a pretty full battery to begin with, so it might not charge. Yeah, it's, it's taking a little bit, 0.3 amps going into it, which isn't registering down here because we're about a half amp off, but leave that thing on charging overnight, you're good to go. Very versatile, I, I really like having this uh, variable voltage to just play with different kinds of electronics, it's, it's really neat. So anyway guys, just uh, wanted to show you really quick this cool little power supply, I really like it, I think it's neat, retails for $159.95 on the MFJ website, I will leave a link in the description as always. Uh, and there's also some links to some other things that I use for my Amazon store. So check it out. And uh, thanks again for watching another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff.